worldwide check. Did you get that? Okay. Hey, my name is Joe. I'm the service manager here at Fanatic Bike. Today, we're going to take a look at the Push ACS3 kit, do a little unboxing, and then get one installed on our videographer Doug's Transition Patrol. So, in the box here, we've got an owner's manual, we've got some stickers, and we have a new uh, travel indicator ring and a uh, retaining ring. We have your air bump stop that goes up on the top. And then we also have the lower assembly. This goes down in the bottom. So this is the old retaining clip and the air shaft. So we just removed the old air spring. Um, so this one you can see has two main seals on it. Um, this red part stays affixed at the bottom of the CSU as this other seal moves up and down. So above here inside the stanchion you have your positive air chamber and in here you're going to have your negative air chamber. Um, what we're going to replace this with is the push lower assembly. Um, this doesn't have any tight seals like this air spring does because we're not sealing any air. Um, so basically your coil is going to sit against this red um, piece on the top here and this bottom silver part is going to stay affixed to the bottom of the CSU similar to this. Um, this one seals air, this one doesn't. That's the, that's the main difference between the two. And what does that effectively do? Reduce, reduce friction? Yeah, so you're going to have a lot less friction. Um, anytime you have more seals, you're going to have friction involved, um, any moving seal. This bottom seal doesn't move, so there's no friction there. So really, you're only getting it uh, from this top seal and the seal inside of this red piece against the shaft. Um, same thing with this one. I mean, you can see that this red piece does not move very easily. I mean, it does move easily, but not as easily as this one. You know, this one just falls on there and this one doesn't. So there's a lot less friction in this system, um, whereas the air spring, because it has some seals and it's sealing in air, it does have some more friction. Yeah. So we're gonna put the yellow spring in here. Uh, first thing we do is we'll just put a little bit of grease just on the spring. Um, that helps quiet it down a little bit. It has a little bit of shrink wrap on here to just kind of you know, mitigate any rattling sounds that you may have with um, a coil sprung fork, um, but they're, they are pretty quiet. So we'll drop that in. Gives you, you put in a plastic piece and it has a couple little preload spacers here. This is just to adjust the preload on the spring. I'm just gonna put one in. And after that, we're gonna put in um, the air bump stop. So basically what this does is as that lower rod on the lower assembly comes up, uh, once you get to the last 35% of the travel, it'll actually hit this bump stop. And this is a pressurized air chamber, so this is going to act like your volume tokens. If you increase the air pressure in here, it'll act like adding more volume tokens. It'll ramp up the further you go through the travel. Um, so you can pressurize these anywhere from 5 to 50 PSI. They come stock with 20, so we're just going to leave it at that. And uh, Doug can play with it and you know tune it in to, to what he really likes once he gets out in the trail. That's the, um, the basic rundown of Push ACS3 kits. Uh, if you're the type of person that likes the feel of coil sprung suspension, it would probably make a great upgrade for you. Um, you can get them for Rock Shocks and Fox. Um, it is worth mentioning though that if you put a coil kit in your fork, because the spring is not soft like rubber, it does make little tiny 
um, scratches on the inside of your fork stanchion, so it's not a good idea to go back to the air spring because it might not seal as well and you might have a fork that leaks air and just doesn't work as it should. So once you put one of these coil kits in, it's not recommended to go back to air. But um, they make a great upgrade, uh, definitely reduces some friction, you get a little bit more small bump uh, compliance, a little more sensitivity out of the fork. Um, they're pretty, pretty quick and easy to install. Um, if you want to see a more detailed installation video, Push has a great video on their website that has a lot more detail than what we just went through. All right, so that was about a month and a half ago when yep. we watched Joe give us a tech rundown on the ACS3 kit mm -hmm. and get it installed on your Lyric Select Plus on your Patrol, now right. fully on coil. How, uh, tell us about your experience, experiences on that fork. I'd say my experiences on that fork were second to none. Uh, immediately within probably the first you know, 100 or so feet of trail that I dropped in on my first ride on it, uh, I was able to notice a pretty pretty big difference in just the ride feel. Okay. Um, going through rougher sections of trail with holes, rocks and roots and things like that, it really just felt like I wasn't getting a lot of that you know, feedback from mm -hmm. the fork. It was really just gliding over everything and just felt really smooth, really just Riding on a cloud, you know, soft, yeah. soft, supple cloud. No, I noticed the same thing, that kind of, that jarring that you get on smaller bumps, mm -hmm. even at lower speeds where it's not enough to compress the fork, mm -hmm. normal air spring with the coil in there, that front wheel will just kind of move up and out of the way. Yeah, it's awesome. That was actually my first ride on my Fox 36 Performance Elite mm -hmm. that I installed, went on to that when I when you and I got out on yeah, Galbraith. Yeah, totally. Um, and I had a really similar experience kind of unsurpassed compliance that I wasn't used to right. on Air Forks, which I've been writing, you know, for years and years now. Totally. I know Joe had mentioned, you know, in the tech video, seals adding extra friction on your fork, mm -hmm. whereas this is just, there, there's no friction. There's a lot less friction, yep. uh, being that there's no seals, there's no air to seal. So just, yeah, super awesome feeling right off the bat. And it's really one of those things where there's things you put on your bike where it, t it oftentimes takes a few rides for you to really notice the difference. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh yeah, this is kind of, I see how this is working. But this was the one thing that I've done on any of my bikes where I was like, wow, like immediately, it's better, feels yeah. better to me. So. so people think about springs and they're like, okay, we used to have springs and we went to air. Mm -hmm. Why would we go back? I would argue that a large reason that we went to air in the first place, A, was because of weight. Bikes mm -hmm. were pretty heavy back then, so anywhere we could reduce weight was a plus. Um, it makes it a lot easier for bike shops and people to adjust their fork when it's air. Right. But these days, you know, all our bikes weigh 30 plus pounds. Yeah. These enduro bikes. Totally. Uh, what do you see the sort of like the, the benefits of doing this? Well, I, I'm not necessarily a weight weenie. Uh, adding a little, maybe, I don't know, half a pound weight to my bike. Not a huge it's, amount. That's like a water bottle if you really think about it. Yeah. So. Uh, so that was, I mean, people call weighted downside, but I don't see it as much of a downside at all. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something, I guess, as a lighter rider, I've, I've oftentimes struggled with setting up my suspension. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of forks and shocks are tuned for, I guess, you know, not heavier, necessarily heavy riders, but heavier than me riders. Kind of average middle yeah. of the bell curve. I'm like, you know, a buck 25 geared up, so I'm kind of on the lower end of that. So it's oftentimes really hard for me to get my suspension to feel the way I want to. Okay. And this is, seems like it's everything I've always wanted. It's it's make it made my bike feel the way I've wanted it to feel for the last X yeah. amount of years. So you have a you have a GX kit. Uh, yeah. You have the Lyric Select Plus. Mm -hmm. My coworker Javi, our coworker, had a, a Yari that he put one on. Yep. So if you're looking for a way to make a you know not top of the line fork feel notably better. I think this is a good thing. Absolutely, yeah. It, it'll take your yeah your OEM stock fork and turn it into a pretty much a different pro feeling product, cool. which is awesome. So another really big benefit that I see is you saw how easy it was for Joe to install this mm -hmm. in the fork. It makes maintenance a breeze. Totally. Um, keeping this system lubricated is a big part of the lower services that you you hear about when you take your fork to the bike shop mm -hmm. and running a coil spring, it just eliminates the frequency that you need to maintain your fork. Totally. So I see that as a big benefit as well. I'm not a huge you know, tech savvy guy when it comes to suspension especially, so having a system that, let's say, you know, there's no, like I said, there's no seals, there's nothing like that where I need to constantly maintain it. Mm -hmm. If I want to change my spring rate, all I have to do is just 
drop a different spring in there. It's really easy. And those are uh, springs actually cost an extra eighty dollars. They have, I believe, seven different spring weights. Mm -hmm. We have a chart on our website that shows you know, your rider weight and which spring they recommend. Makes it easy to pick up. Right. So it's really easy. Just like, oh, I want to try something different and swoop, swoop. Last like that. thing I wanted to touch on as a big benefit of this particular system is the adjustability. Mm -hmm. The ACS is the advanced coil system. Like Joe said, it comes with this bump stop. You can adjust this. What are the, the range of PSI you can do in here? Uh, five to 50. Okay. So, you know, if you take your patrol up to Whistler Bike Park mm -hmm. or Winter Park or wherever you are, um, and you need more of that progressivity that you normally can change in your fork with air volume reducers. Mm -hmm. You just throw a few more PSI in here. Yep. Takes your standard uh, shock pump, mm -hmm. same, same like you would an air fork. Yep. So. And it just gets hits that last few inches of travel and adds some extra oomph to your fork. Yeah. Uh, and all in all, I'd just say this is just an awesome upgrade. Um, I, would, I would recommend it to anybody who's really more focused on the downhill performance. Totally. Um, you do notice a little bit of the benefits of climbing, but a lot of us are, are climbing to descend, which all is these, where we're really starting to, to know where, how our bikes feel. All these long travel yeah. forks. The ACS3 kit is compatible with the Fox 36, the Lyric, um, mm -hmm. you know, 20, I believe 14 up through 2020. Mm -hmm. And the pike as well. Yep. Um, downhill oriented products. Yeah. And this is a big advantage. Awesome. I, I love it. I'm cool. a convert. I'm fully on coil and I love it. If you have <laughs> any questions about this product, feel free to leave us a comment below. Doug or I can get back at you with our experiences on the fork. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com or give us a call 844 326 2845. We really like making these videos, getting out and showing you what's cool in the world of mountain biking. So if you like watching them, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.